Hey what's up everyone, it's me Teacher Koy of Easy Math Tutorial For today's vlog, i-share ko po sa inyo kung paano po gamitin ang Microsoft PowerPoint to record your presentation, to record your screen Okay, but before that, if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so that you will be updated on my videos Okay guys, so ito po yung um, video tutorial po natin yung paano po mag-record ng ating um, screen at saka yung PowerPoint presentation po natin using um, Power, MS PowerPoint So I am using the 2010 version of this Microsoft PowerPoint and so far sa pagkaalala ko ano um, working working po itong feature na to from 2010 version up to the latest version okay so I have here a sample presentation okay this one so pag sinabi po natin ano uh, record po tayo ng ating screen or yung powerpoint po natin na uh, presentation so sandali lang ha so lipat ko lang tong video ko dito na lang uh, dito sa baba pag sinabi po natin mag record po tayo nating screen tapos yung powerpoint presentation po natin para sa ating mga estudyante o yung mga um, nag online classes diba kasi especially on, sa college sa if you're taking masteral or PhD so meron kayong mga reports so ito po yun very useful po ito Okay, so once again, uh, I'm using the 2010 version of the Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay, so first, dito po tayo. Kung nakita natin dito, ito yung home, di ba? File, home, insert, design, transition, animation, slideshow, review, view. Okay, so click po lang natin tong insert. Okay, so once we click this one, ito po yung makikita natin. Okay. Tapos punta tayo dito sa upper right corner ng ating screen or ng ating powerpoint. Ito nakita natin dito yung tinatawag natin screen recording. Okay, mayroong, mayroong video, mayroong audio, mayroong screen recording. But since gusto mo natin record yung screen natin at saka yung presentation po natin. So, I will click this one, screen recording. So, once we click this one, in a few seconds may mag pop, -pop na ganito. Okay, itong small box na to. May nakalagay record. Tapos ito, yung symbol ng stop. Tapos select area, audio, tsaka record pointer. Okay, so first is click lang natin itong select area. Okay. So, depende po kung saan area yung gusto natin. But for me, uh, usually, ginagamit ko uh, full screen. The whole area. Pero depende, yung iba, uh, ano siguro, yung customized na area. Okay, so ito po yung ginamit ko o ito po yung kadalasang ginamit ko so once natapos ko na po yung naselect yung area na i-record ko uh, click ko lang tong or click lang natin tong record itong red button okay so once you click this one may mag countdown po okay so 3 2 1 okay so nag start na po siyang nag-record sa ating screen okay, so since gusto natin i-record yung powerpoint presentation po natin so, click natin yung file or yung na-open na po natin na powerpoint presentation, ito po yung sample presentation po natin okay, so ito na po yun so since running na po yung ano natin rec uh, nag-record na po tayo, running na po click natin yung ano, slideshow Okay, so this is just, this is just an example. Okay, para po makita po natin na effective or yung nag-working po talaga yung ginamit natin na PowerPoint kung paano mag-record o paano mag-record ng ating screen at saka ating ano, PowerPoint presentation. Okay, ito na po. 
Okay, hello, I'm Teacher Koy. Welcome to Easy Math Tutorial. Okay, Easy Math Tutorial at gmail.com. Okay. Ito na po. So, ano lang to? Run through lang to kasi gusto, look, gusto ko lang ipakita na anong working talaga kung maga, magagamit po natin to sa ating um, online classes. Okay? Okay, so for example, ano? Tapos na po tayo ng record. Okay, so... Sample lang ito ha, na tapos na po tayo nag-record. So, click natin dito sa taas. Ilagay natin yung, ano, yung mouse natin dito sa taas. O yung pointer na sa taas. Mag-pop up po siya. Okay, pag kagaya nito. Okay, ito. Mag-pop up po siya, di ba? May pause. Kung gusto mong hinto muna, okay, pause for a while. Okay, after that, continue na naman na mag-record. Then, merong stop. Ito. Okay, so since tapos na, so click natin itong stop. Once we click the stop button, just wait for a few seconds. Okay, ito na po. Lumabas na po dito yung na-record po natin. Okay? Okay, play po natin. Okay, so just wait for a few seconds. Okay, so nag-start na po siyang nag-record sa ating screen. Okay, so since gusto natin record yung PowerPoint presentation po natin. So, click natin yung file or yung na-open na po natin na Okay, so ito na po. Okay, so there are two ways on how to save this one. Okay, first kung gusto natin i-save natin tong video kasama dito sa ating buong presentation na ginamit. Punta lang tayo dito sa file tapos ito, save. Okay? Save or save as depende kung i-save mo siya na iba yung file name, di ba? Okay, so, yung ginagamit ko kadalasan, kasi gusto ko pang i-edit itong video na to, or yung na-record ko using this PowerPoint, um, using this MS PowerPoint, ang ginawa ko is, ano lang, right click lang po tayo, right click. Okay, right click. So, once we right click, dito, dito tayo sa baba, may nakalagay dito, save media as. Okay, so click lang natin to. Okay, click natin itong save media as ito, ito. So, lagay natin, ah, okay, yung file name is media1. Okay, media1. Tapos, gusto ko i-save it. Gusto ko i-save to sa ano, sa desktop. Okay, so ito na po. Click natin yung save. Okay, so na-save na po siya. So, pwede na natin i-close itong, ano, yung, itong PowerPoint presentation po natin. Okay. So, ito na po siya. Ito, media1. Okay, so ito na po yung na-record po natin na uh, presentation or yung screen po natin. Okay? So, try natin na i-open. And since na-save na po natin to, pwede natin siyang i-edit. Di ba? Using a video editor. Okay, play muna natin. Okay, so, let's just wait for a few seconds. Okay, so, nag-start so, na, na po siya. siyang nag-record sa ating screen. Okay. Okay, so, since gusto natin record yung... Okay, so, by the way, ano, uh, ang format po nito is MP4. So, MP4 po to. Pwede natin siyang ma-edit using any, ano, video editor. Uh, kung gusto mong gamitan ng yung sa cellphone lang. Tapos, ano lang, i-share it mo lang to papunta sa cellphone mo. Tapos, you can open this one using a, any video editor like KineMaster or ano, yung ibang mga video editor. Okay? So, pwede ding, ano, gamitan natin ang video editor natin na andito sa ating desktop or sa ating laptop. Okay? So, to For example, using Filmora. Okay? So, depende kung ano yung... Uh, preferred video editor mo. Okay, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.